Hi, I'm Talitha Caney, the ReefWatch Coordinator for South Australia, and welcome to our video blog series. The species you will see today are found on our intertidal reefs here in South Australia. We have Peter Hunt, our intertidal expert, talking to us about mussels. We have about 20 species of mussel here in South Australia, ranging from the edible blue sea mussel right through to the mats of mussels that we seem to find on the rocks. When we visit any beach, many of the rocks are blackened with thousands of these tiny mussels, which can be one of several species. Other sea mussels prefer to live as individual specimens, burrowing into sponges and also living in the whole fasts of kelp. So what are mussels? Mussels are bivalve mollusks, which basically means they have two shells. They survive by pumping water between the two shells and filtering in the particles from the water. We call them bisate filter feeders. The bysis is a series of strings or ropes that they tie themselves down with. What happens to the small juvenile mussel as a plankton when it finds a good place to live, it settles on the sea floor and will immediately secure itself using these bisate ties. The young mussels often shift around and they will untie themselves, move about and re-tie themselves down. The older mussels tend to stay in one place. The thousands of mussels that we see holding onto the rocks are a massive filter feeding organism. They help to keep our water clean and they are a large food source for many of the sea creatures that live on the rocks there from crabs to seabirds to sea stars and octopus. They all eat mussels. And of course, people like to eat them too. Because we have many different types of mussels, the field identifications can be quite difficult. So when we are surveying our reefs, we need to look at the color, size, shapes, and whether or not the shells are smooth or ribbed. And in some cases, they often have a very hairy or bristly periostracum. This is the hairy skin on the outside of the shell. So here we have a selection of interesting sea mussels. I'll just go through a few of these with you. A lot of people don't realise, but not only do we farm and eat them here in South Australia, but this blue mussel is the same mussel that is found in Europe. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's Mytilus edulis, or edible mussel, and it is believed to be the same mussel and there is some consideration that it may have been introduced. But it's been here so long, we consider it one of our own. This is an example of a blue mussel that was living on the pylons at Port Stanback. The other one, in contrast, was washed ashore at Taparoo. The other mussel that we should look at that's a similar size is the green lip mussel from New Zealand. These are sold in our seafood shops and while they don't live in our oceans here, they are regularly dropped on our beaches. So if you see one, be aware that it is not actually living in our Gulf waters. The other two large mussels here are native mussels. There's the hairy horse mussel, which features a very bristly and hairy periostracum or skin and that is one of the ways you can tell the species apart. Again, this is another example of a native species. This gets to be nearly twice as big and often bright blue. And this species prefers to live in sponges as a single mussel, not in colonies. So we only ever seem to find one at a time of these. The other third introduced species that I do want to mention is the Asian basket mussel. These are a small mussel which have been found in South Australian waters. They produce a matted hairy periostracum and create a basket in which they live. These mussels are so profuse that all this matting smothers all the other life that's living around them, hence they are a pest. Thanks Peter for sharing your knowledge with us. If you'd like to find out more about ReefWatch, 
check out our Facebook or Instagram page or find us on our website.